got rid of Jeff Smizek. They didn't get rid of him in the dark of the night. They got rid of him after a federal investigation showed up that he was basically exchanging a route for um, what was all the work that needed to be done at the Newark Hub. So it, it's... It's being painted as though, well, you know, they did really get rid of him kind of like overnight, right? I mean, well, it, when, when they finally when they were presented with the when news broke, the when the news came when out, the, when the news broke. But let's be clear here: under Jeff Smizek, United Airlines really, really struggled relative to their competitors, and you can see that. Look at the look at the stock over the last five years. I mean, I, everybody has said this is a sleeping giant. How many times have we heard that over the last five years? Sleeping giant could be doing so much better, and. Now they've got Oscar Munoz in there, really hasn't had a chance to put his fingerprints on the company and to make the changes that are necessary. Right. Now that he's coming back on a full-time basis next week, he finally has a chance to institute some of the changes there. They want to throw some chaos into the boardroom. Better late than never, can you make that argument? Are you making the argument somewhat that, okay, where have these, these guys been? They're late to the party. That's my argument. My, my question is, where were you for the last five years? Where, where I, were I don't you? really understand that question. I'll tell you where they were. Altimeter has done very well as a hedge fund. Yeah. Their returns have been phenomenal. They were there making money. All they do is travel and SaaS, software as a solution. Right. PAR has a phenomenal reputation as private equity in VC. So where they were, they were making money. Well, we just showed well, a five-year chart. Of, uh, put, the, put the chart back, right, please. But my point out. is that they go where they see the opportunity. So they didn't have to be there. No, there's no, no wait a second. Relative to their competitors, competitors that, five years. And relative to their competitors, they were not doing as well. I'm, so, uh, no, I'm not talking about United. Right. I'm saying they found other opportunities to make money. Maybe they consider the rest of the universe, okay, and I think there's some holdings there. It's only a 13F, to be more fully valued or more closer to full value. No argument there. there. So they go in. It's like saying, where's Carl Icahn been for all these years when you've had free ports under form? That's not their job to be the watchdog in the industry. Their job is to make money for investors. And now they see that opportunity making money for investors in the United. It's as simple as that. But if you're an investor and you've heard these guys say, and you heard Gordon Bethune say, oh, I got one right here. It's, 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 it's a country club men mentality that they've been asleep at the wheel. Look, why are you now saying something? I understand what you're saying, an opportunity to make money. Why weren't you saying something two years ago, three years ago? I don't, I don't disagree with you at all. But I think the issue here is that we want the United to have the same comps as Delta. Delta is the best run airline, right? So the stock trades at a premium compared to all the other airlines. Right. Now, whether you get activists or you get new management, it's an issue because the CEO is out, he's in. I think what's more important here is that we have somebody watching the store to say, margin should be up to where your competitors are. Why are you still flying routes that are unprofitable? You have the, one of the best routes out there. You have one of the best aircraft out there let's get this combination done you know there are so many excuses in terms of technology well right. we could do this we could do that i think as a shareholder i want to see some improvement with margins i want to see them actually improve but if you've been a long why, why not why 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 not let oscar munoz truly implement the changes that he plans to implement so i think you also have to say these activists are also doing a little bit of a pr game right because they're coming in they're probably buying the shares at the same time putting some pressure who knows what they're going to do long term I don't think they're going to cause that much. I think, in a way, I also don't want management to think, wait, wait a second, we can do things that we did in the past. So let's get a real team in there and say, focus, guys, on profitability and making money and not just for experience. Not that share performance tells the whole story uh, every single time, but if you've been a longer-term shareholder in United, at least over the past three, five years, I mean, you're nothing but happy, no, we right? Very well. Stock over the last three years is up 78%. But I mean, you, we just showed it over five years. I think it was up more than, uh, there you go, 130%. Right, right. And, and Delta's done fabulously. Southwest has done fabulously. And then you get United and American. Both have some work to do. With, with oil prices at these levels, they should be making so much more money. Absolutely. There's no argument there. So, so there's no argument that they are lagging their competitors. But, but, but the other issue, too, excuse me, is that, you know, if, you, if you're if you a big investor, you want to shake things up a little bit, and you sense a moment of weakness, which at the very very top of United, there has been a few moments of weakness in the Absolutely. last 12 to 18 months. So, you know, you smell blood in the water, or you see blood in the water. This is the perfect time. That's exactly where you're going, I think, is this is the perfect time for the activists to finally say, okay, we've been on the sidelines, now and we're going to jump in here. And you got Bethune in your pocket. And you got Gordon Bethune, and then you've got folks out there like Goldman who think this is an $80 stock. That was the price target. They moved it up right. from 78 to 80 not that long ago. But, I mean, this is, of the big three, this is the laggard. There's nobody, so, there's nobody in disagreement with Right. That. So it's, I think this is just the right moment for the activists to finally step up and say, you know what, we've got ourselves in position to attack on the board front, and if we can get six of the 15 seats, 
we've got ourselves in a great position now to take over and make sure this is run the right I, way. I think the way